boy, I'm excited for this one. The ASI Air has finally arrived, and it's time to actually use it for some proper nights of imaging. I have already selected a target, which I'm super excited about showing, and I think this image is going to be great. This will kind of be a kind of review overall on the ASI Air, my experience with it. Um, so I hope you may even find this helpful. I'm going to try to add information into this video that will be able to help you guys and maybe decide if you want to buy this product or not. I personally so far am very happy with this product and it has been doing me good and I finally get to stop using my old laptop that barely works anymore and be able to control everything from just on my smartphone from inside the house. It is amazing. I got the telescope and everything set up now and for the setup we are using the same one as last time, the SIM26 mount, the ASI 585, and of course the new member, the ASI Air, and then obviously the telescope, the Quattro 150p, which is, I love so much. Sun is finally setting and I have the ASI connected to the phone and I'm about to take some bias frames. I want to take flat frames already, but unfortunately I need the right focus and rotation, which I do not have yet uh, to take proper flat frames. So I'll have to get that tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and knock out the 30 bias frames we're going to take. All right, we are out here and we're fixing to uh, polar align. So I'm going to switch to the PA mode. And we're going to let it play and it's going to play it soft and tell us how off our polar alignment is and then we'll adjust the knobs on the scope too. So now it has told me my polar alignment is three degrees off and one degrees off uh, that way and now I'm going to have to fix that. So we're quite a bit off so I have some uh, have some fixing to do. And see here I am seven arc seconds by 18 arc second seconds off which is actually a pretty dang good polar alignment. So we're going to just hit finish and finish up the polar alignment. So imaging is done, the image is complete, and we're about to go into the image reveal. But before we go into the image reveal, I want to just talk about the ASI Air and my experience with it. I absolutely love this thing. Yes, it's amazing. Being able to control everything via your smartphone uh, from inside the house, not having to go out in the cold every 30 minutes to, you know, check your guiding and stuff. Super convenient, super helpful, especially on these uh, cold winter nights. Everything is pretty much a breeze, getting it all set up and imaging and the image process basically is all a breeze. You know, and it's not too expensive, it comes in at a pretty decent price of about $300. Um, and I'd say this is definitely worth it. This device has done me a lot of good and if you are maybe looking into getting one of these, I would actually probably recommend this. And it has a lot of other features too that I did not show you in the video, like the rotation assist, which is amazing. Um, the Sky Atlas on the um, ASI Air software is amazing too. I love the Sky Atlas on there. And um, I don't have much negative things to say about this at all. Now time for the image reveal. Mm -hmm. 